Good evening. This side Rahul Magan here is a group chief executive officer, treasury consulting, and also a venture capitalist. As we speak, treasury consulting group is a multinational headquartered group based out India, Singapore, and Hong Kong. And we are multi million valuation group, 100% cash rich. Now 100% cash rich and 100% profitable with not a single dollar, I repeat, not a single dollar backing by any venture capitalist and private equity. And would continue. I have raised my point, multiple point against merger and acquisitions many times. That nowadays merger and acquisitions are completely holistic in nature. Rather, they are hostile, hostile in nature. They are anti-competitive in nature. In the last couple of years, US authorities banned many merger and acquisitions, many merger and acquisitions on the grounds of anti-competitiveness, on the grounds of cartelization, on the grounds of huge amount of lobbying and multiple such things, you can refer to Google. But I'm sure that we are always not interested in doing the Googling. But nowadays, there are different kind of merger and acquisitions which are happening worldwide. Number one is SPAC. SPAC is a blank check company. We would be deliberating on SPAC very soon. I have already doing a lot of research on SPAC, collating a lot of data, and I would be coming very soon on the YouTube on the SPAC model. By the way, SPAC is already busted. Whether it is Singapore, it is United States, it is Hong Kong, it is maybe any other European country, it is already busted. But yes, please wait. We will come as far as the SPAC is concerned. Second kind of merger and acquisitions are happening in the loss making startup space, whereby one loss making company buying another loss making company. So it is like a 10th fail person is teaching to another 10th fail person and expecting the second 10th fail person will pass this time. By the way, Hindi media or the paid, sold and corrupt media believes in that. I have an evidence. Nowadays, I have making a different kind of thing, which is that previously I used to read the articles on Google. Now I will take the printout. And I'll read line by line thoroughly. So like in this article, I read line by line thoroughly. And if I find the article interested, interesting, then I am going to be keeping this in record for a long time. Probably God knows I might be needing this or the numbers or the statistics I might be needing very soon. God knows. Zomato, who is a loss making company, never reported profit. And I'm sure they have a negative, negative retained earnings, but I don't have the financials, annual year financials. I'm waiting, dying rather, to have financial year 22 annual report of Zomato. But I know I need to wait for that. So, on 4th February 2022, which is near about one month, Business Today reported that Zomato will shortly announce a further investment in a quick commerce startup. 
Now, what the hell is quick commerce? This fancy term I fail to understand. But the venture capitalist and private equity definition of a quick commerce is you get instant supply of food, vegetable, milk, probably chocolate. This is quick commerce. So on 4th February, Business Today reported that Zomato will shortly announce a further investment in a quick commerce startup Blinkit. Sources had informed Business Today that deal would value Blinkit at 1.5 billion, a significant sum from existing 1 billion. 50% jump. Check yourself on the Google, the history of Blinkit. You will get very interesting facts. I'm not telling anything about the Blinkit in this video. You will get very interesting facts about Blinkit. Even you will get to, you will learn something that if Ramlal changed his name to Shamlal, people started feeling that his credentials also change. But if the name change will make change in the people, then everyone in the world would have changed the name. Anyways, Blinkit is now closest to how we all know the quick commerce today. Blinkit Pioneer 10 minute grocery delivery in India has post post over our 100 million investment in August 2021. So from where did Zomato invested 100 million? That is also a surprise. Since then, the platform has scaled rapidly to 450 million annual GMB. It is again a Samosa story, which I tell you at the last. It now operates 400 plus dark stores across 20 cities and so on and so forth. Guys, you, you know that one thing you, you know, if you read these kind of articles, one thing you fail to understand is that now this article is written by Bimesh Malik on 10th February. It is on a website called, I think it is Business Today website. You know, if you read this article, you would get to know a very simplistic thing that this person either deliberately or maybe by force highlighted hidden all facts. In this whole article, you will not see the losses of Zomato. You will not see the credentials of Blinkit. You will not see the last five years profit and losses of Blinkit, which are on the Google, by the way. You will not see a comment that how come a loss making company is buying another loss making company or investing in another loss making company. And the valuation jump from 1 billion to 1.5 billion. And everyone is sleeping. By the way, Zomato is now a listed company. And being a listed company, they their actions is subject to scrutiny. But have you ever thought that a loss making company listed is investing in another loss making company. And regulator is silent. Like Gandhi ji ke teen bandar. But on TV, regulator continue to say, we are here for investors. Who funding this investment? If the company is reporting losses, then who is funding this investment? For what purpose this funding is done? 
from which route the funding coming in Indian market? Who authorized this funding? How come Blinkit reached to 1 billion of valuation? How come Blinkit with proposed investment would go to 1.5 billion of valuation? If a company like Blinkit stands at 1.5 billion of valuation, then I think Apple deserves 100 trillion of valuation because they are standing on 250 billion of free cash. Free cash means you earned and you don't use that. It is surplus. Then Apple deserves to be 200 trillion of free cash. But all these unique things happen only in India. And when they burst, just like NSC, just like high frequency trading scandal, just like multiple scandals, Satyam, Yes Bank, infrastructure leasing and financial services, Divan housing and multiple such scandals, then we woke up. And by the time we woke up, everything vanished. I challenge Zomato and Blinkit, prove the 1 billion valuation. Speak to me. Prove 1 billion valuation. Don't just create a samosa company that a samosa of 7 rupee with a cost of 5 rupee and a profit of 2 rupee is now sold at 3 rupees with a loss of 4 rupees per samosa. And then you say, I am having stores across India. At a given point of time, infrastructure, leasing and financial services was king. Divan housing was king and many such examples. What's at the end? What's at the end? Do you know Evergrande? Evergrande once boast of 320 billion. 320 billion worth of balance sheet. Today, this is Rahul Bagan from Treasury Consulting Group. You know my personal number 9899242978. Blink it.